Gather round, everyone. Gather round the old campfire. <laughs> I have a tale to tell you. <laughs> Jeff, could you uh, play that while yeah, I yeah. tell the tale? <laughs> Tonight, we are celebrating a milestone in television history. Do you know what it is? Exactly. <laughs> Tonight is episode 1,788 of this show which I have done. Please, no applause. Please. So, sorry, Jeff. Uh, please, no applause. <laughs> They're like, the audience are like, mm-hmm. Well, I don't see why that affects us in any way. 1,788 times I have managed to fool CBS into thinking that the network goes off the air after Letterman. <laughs> what I think this show is like is, is like, you know, when, you know that show, the, uh, that show, the story, the elves and the shoemaker? Yeah, yeah. Right, when the shoemaker goes to sleep and then the elves make shoes. That's right. Right. Well, CBS goes to sleep and then we come in here and make, well, not shoes, but crap. Right, right. <laughs> So we're kind of the crap-making elves of CBS. Yeah, we're crap cobblers. Crap cobblers, yeah, I like that. <laughs> All right, perhaps we should have crap cobbler voices. All right. Hello there, I am a crap cobbler. <laughs> so we have thought of talking like this. Yeah, that's, that's what I think a crap cobbler sounds like. We have to make more crap. First, let's get to talk. What accent is yeah, no, this? I do? No, go with that. Go with that. Okay, go. then. First, we get talking horse, not really talking or horse. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I think I sound a little bit like Latino Dracula. Yeah. What do you yeah. think? Yeah. It's like Latino Dracula. Like, it's I want to suck your blood. Aye, aye. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, don't, I don't drink blood, but when I do. Oh, that's good, yes. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. I am the most Dracula man in the world. That's right. That's yeah. right. Ah, stay thirsty for blood, my friend. <laughs> yeah. That's good. That's yeah. not bad. So there you go. The network's shut down and the crap's beginning already. We'll be right back, everybody. Ferguson, sponsored by Applebee's. Enjoy over 200 lunch combos at Applebee's, including new honey pepper flavors, starting at $6.99. That's great, everybody. Thanks. That's great. Yeah. Fine. Great. Really good, everybody. Really very believable indeed. What did you think, Jeff? Man. Wow. It's almost like they had been told to give just the right amount and then let it die away quite naturally. Yeah. Died away pretty quick there. Yeah, it did. Pretty it died away a little too quick. Almost yeah, little. like they were like, ah, boom. <laughs> Make us laugh, foreign gentlemen. Man, they're being kind. <laughs> What'd you say there? Foreign gentleman. Sorry, I, no. I, 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 I have a very difficult time with your accent. Yeah, I'm right here. <laughs> it's a great day for America, everybody. Yes. That's right, buddy. I went further back than I normally do. He's like, 
What's going on? Craig's going farther back than he normally does. That's right. Oh, I'm off to the side now. Uh-oh. It's like a documentary. It's good. In that, it's not funny at all. Right, That's, yeah. uh, right. It's a great day for the New York Times. Uh, it's uh, the grey lady's birthday. That's what they call the New York Times. Also what I call myself when I look in the mirror. <laughs> Who's the grey lady? <sighs> <laughs> uh, the New York Times also shares a birthday today with Lance Armstrong. Oh! Oh, oh they're, they're ready to be cruel. Do you hear? Oh, I could hear the fingernails sharpening there. Oh, clickety click click. Armstrong, uh, Armstrong in the New York Times, very different, of course. One has a history of telling lies and all kinds of crap, but is now desperately trying to stay relevant. <laughs> And the other one's Lance Armstrong. Yeah. Yeah. Right. All right. Um, <laughs> that, was, that was very interesting. That was kind of a finish the joke. <laughs> finish. You finish the joke. Now, the New York Times, of course, is very respected. They have won more Pulitzer Prizes than any other newspaper. By the way, if you don't know what it is, I'll explain. A newspaper is a big... <laughs> it's a big papery blog with yesterday's news in it. <laughs> anyway, today was a great day for me. It's the day I look forward to all year. If you know anything about me, you know this is the big one. This is the day I always look forward to, Chilean Independence Day. <laughs> Finally! Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. It's Chilean or, or if you prefer, Chilean Independence Day. Do we have a graphic for it? Do we? ago today, Chile broke free from Spain. The people in Chile uh, still speak Spanish. Kind of like how America broke free from England, but the people here still speak Spanish. <laughs> Wait a minute. Don't bother. Don't bother. Uh, get to the end of the joke and there we are. Uh, Chile is the strip of land, of course, uh, between the Pacific Ocean and the Andes. Uh, do we have a map of South America? I show you? Yeah, there you are. <laughs> Blue Brazil, Brazil, Chile. Uh, see you, Bora. <laughs> <laughs> now, as you can see, uh, Chile is uh, very thin and, uh, you know, long and uh, South American. It's like a supermodel. It's also, uh, it's also a stopover for cocaine dealers from Colombia. So it's exactly like a supermodel. <laughs> I love, I love uh, Chilean Independence Day. So I, I, I have so much to say about Chile. I, I just can't stop. <laughs> you see the premiere of Survivor earlier tonight? Did you see that? Yeah. Wow. I watched it earlier on because we were live and it was awesome. <laughs> it was a big night for CBS tonight, actually, because uh, it was the season premiere of Survivor and then the season finale of Big Brother. Finally, we have the winner of Big Brother. So congratulations, racist douchebag. <laughs> I... <laughs> <Dang. laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding, I don't watch Big Brother, but apparently uh, some of the contestants were fired from their real jobs for racist remarks they made on the show. But this was the best season ever of Big Brother, according to Paula Dean. I haven't actually seen it. Yeah. Yeah. See what I did? Yeah, yeah. I gotta know, did you hear that over yeah. there as well? Oh, Craig. Oh, Craig. That's almost as if you made hateful racist remarks. Yes, but I didn't. <laughs> Big Brother and Survivor uh, are a great combination. I don't often plug other shows on CBS, but I figured, that, hey, if I, if I promote their shows, maybe they'll promote this show. <laughs> oh, no way. No way. No, listen, the only way, the only way this network would, uh, would promote this show is if we changed the name of it to Two Broke Girls. That's all. Actually, why not? I'll be the sassy, sexy brunette, and you can be the, uh... The, bl the blonde. You can be the blonde. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. Right, we'll be the girls, right? Oh, oh, uh, I don't know their names. Margaret, we are broke. <laughs> oh, Nancy, these customers are so mean. 
<laughs> Margaret and Nancy, the two broke girls. One is a creepy foreigner, and the other one is dead and a robot. <laughs> Can they share an apartment without driving each other crazy? Told you not to unplug me at night. <laughs> oh, you. <laughs> uh, 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 survivor, yeah, uh, Survivor. Survivor, Big Brother, what the hell, one of them. Anyway, the Survivor and uh, the competition is going to be very fierce this year. Oh, yeah. To, uh, you know, and Jeff Probst is going to be there. Yeah. <laughs> He's going to have to be careful, you know, because his shorts are still very small, but he's getting older. <laughs> Soon you'll be able to, uh, you know, see the acorns falling from the tree, you know? It's, uh, you, know you know, well, you know what I'm saying there, Yeah, the, uh, the, the gophers poking out of their holes. Well, the gophers, gophers poking out of the, the, the little, the little birdies leaving their nest. Uh, what I mean is his balls are going to fall out of his shorts, is what I'm saying. I'm saying this is a real, this could have, we have a recent picture of Jeff in his little shorty shorts. There you are. Wow. There you go. <laughs> I think I'm done now. That's it. You're done. Yeah, yeah, I'm bored. With, with the monologue or the show? Yeah, life. Yeah. What's going on, man? Everything all right? Yeah, I'm having some trouble. <laughs> you having trouble? Yeah, I'm having trouble remaining upbeat. Well, that I can understand. <laughs> Why? Well, life is horrible. It's, be it's better than being a reanimated skeleton, though. It sucks even when you're reanimated, my friend. Well, I hope that's put a smile on your face at the end of the day, everyone. <laughs> What's up? You want to, uh... Yeah, okay. yeah, sure. More of the Late Late Show Chilean Independence Day special after this. Well, that's too much Dracula yeah, now. Absolutely. Too much Dracula. It needs to be a bit more Latino. We're out of control. We're out of control. That's uh, not it doesn't sound good at all. Good. Good variation. I like that. Well, a variation on what? It doesn't sound like anything. It's just like... Like that. That's our show of variation on crap. <laughs> You know, it's true. It's true. We yeah. kind of just filled the time. Do you know why, though? Because we love you and care deeply about what you think. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but what time is it, Jeffrey Pierce? <laughs> it's tweet mail time. Time to take advice from a man who, when he wears short shorts, the sandbags are hanging from the rafters. <laughs> <laughs> Only one sandbag. Yeah. <laughs> But one hell of a rafter. <laughs> Play the Tweety Jingle thing. Twitter. Tweet, tweet, tweet. Twitter. Chicken Vindaloo is good to eat. My name is Scooter. I'll fix your computer. I'm a happening guy and a dope troubleshooter. When you go to support, you'll be talking to me. I got more patience than Mahatma Gandhi. And email. And you email. Email time! Again! <laughs> All right, this is from Andy and a bunch of other people in Philadelphia. Ooh. Oh, but I guess Andy's their chief. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I wandered into a dangerous area no, no, there. You're fine. You're fine. All right, then. Uh, dear Craig, this guy who I share an office with calls everyone dude, and it's making us crazy. Will you tell him to stop already? Dude. 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 
dude. <laughs> right, imagine that that's my hand, which it is. Imagine that's my hand. Which, you don't have to imagine this bit. And then imagine this is any part of your body you like here. <laughs> this is from Margaret in uh, Mackin in Georgia. Is it Mackin or Macon? Macon. Macon? Macon. Macon? Oh, Mason. Ma Macon? Macon. I don't know. Is it bacon or bacon? <laughs> well, it's bacon. So All right, yeah. so it must be Macon then. Well, that would follow. Macon bacon. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Yeah. Oh, well, well. Macon bacon. Macon bacon. Macon yeah. bacon. <laughs> or it might be Macon bacon. Macon bacon, my friends. <laughs> Dear Craig and Jeff, do you like soul food? Uh, yes, yes, sure. How about you? Oh, we're answering as Jay Leno. Oh, that's it. Yes. <laughs> Actually, worryingly, the horse does the best impression yeah. of him. Yeah, it's amazing. All right. This is from David in Boston, Massachusetts. He says, uh, hi, Craig and Jeff. Do you have a favorite philosopher? I'm asking as part of a class here at BU, Boston University, that's that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't do the tough questions. <laughs> do you have a favorite uh, philosopher? Oh, hell yeah, Socrates, man. Socrates? Yeah. Why? Yeah, because he... He had that method? Yeah, the method. Yeah, yeah, the yeah that oath. method, yeah, yeah. I live by it. Do you know why, do you know why I, I like Sophocles? And I'll do tell you why. Why is that? Because if you say it a different way, it sounds like, Crikey you go. <laughs> Very true, very true. I'm talking about philosophy, man! What the hell? You are a racist. <laughs> um, this is from Robin with a Y, so I suspect it's a girl. Oh, dear. Uh, <clears throat> looks like the ladies are typing again. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it must be from a girl, because look, there's a flower and a hummingbird. Yeah. Yeah, yeah everything about this smacks of girl. <laughs> uh, Robin in or Orono in Maine is, is uh, Craig, what kind of boyfriend? Yep, it's definitely a girl. <clears throat> what, well, actually, no, not necessarily. Yeah, exactly. no. yeah, right, right. Um, what kind of boyfriend forgets his girlfriend's 25th birthday? Yep, that's definitely from a girl, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, uh, this is from Bella in Copenhagen. Oh, Copenhagen, we are not uh, quite sure what your accent is sounding like. Father, we think the accent of Copenhagen is sounding like... Sounds like German. Yeah, a little bit like German with a little bit of Latino Dracula thrown in there. <laughs> with some Italian Bill Clinton. <laughs> What's the comment? I like that. That's a good one. Uh, Bella from Copenhagen says, or Copenhagen. Is it Copenhagen or Copenhagen? Copen. Well, is it bacon or bacon? Well, it's bacon, so. Uh, it's so it's Copenhagen, Copenhagen then. Right, okay. <laughs> Do you allow non Americans to watch your show in your studio? Absolutely not. <laughs> what, what have you been told about this? Kind of, that's a horrible question. Yeah, of course. Anybody can watch this show for free. <laughs> And if you don't live in America, you can steal it from the internet. <laughs> Although what I am saying is not endorsed by CBS or any of its affiliates, <laughs> or in fact, even me. <laughs> Greg, you're saying things that you're not even endorsing yourself? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are we out of time? Oh, right, quickly then, quickly. Quickly, there's no time. All Read right, the tweets, quickly. quickly. This is from Alyssa in Cincinnati. Hi, Craig, Jeff, and Secretariat. Says Alyssa. What's the longest you've ever gone without having sex? How long's this show? <laughs> Yeah. Does, it, does it have to be with another person? I don't know, there's too many questions. This is from Marcus in New York City. Uh, you ever been there? Yeah, I oh, love it. Beautiful. Okay, uh, dear Craig and Jeff, were you as excited as I am about... Oh, shut up. Uh, and finally, this is from Brian in Brooklyn, New York. I don't know if you can tell, Brian is, a, is an eagle. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, dear Craig and Jeff, can you give me some ideas on a romantic night I can do with my wife for our anniversary? I can do with my wife? 
A romantic night I can do with my wife? Like activities, I guess. Well, you mean like, like secret bedtime activities? Yeah. I'm not giving away that kind of advice. All I will say is clitoral stimulation is the way to go. <laughs> what? I've given it back! <laughs> I have to say, I have to say there was a slightly more enthusiastic feminine side to the applause. Yeah, there. yeah. <laughs> put, a smi put a smile on the horse's face anyway, yeah, isn't it? I'm happy. Feeling All right, uh, we got to take a break. We'll be right back with more. Children's Hospital, which airs on Adult Swim. Please welcome Megan Mullally, everybody. Megan Mullally. Sweet. You look great and classy too. No tattoos. Oh well, they're all uh, around my vaginal area. Oh, <laughs> that's that's very classy. <laughs> I like that you mimed that area too, in case any of us went. What area? <laughs> what area was yes. she talking about? In this I area. I wanted to be quite clear. No, no, you were extremely clear. So clear yeah. that I don't even know if the folks at home will get to hear it. <laughs> oh, they will. Excellent. Uh, how are you, dear? You look, you really do look well. Oh, have that's you been, awfully sweet. Have Thank you been you. training for something? Uh, the Olympics, yes. Really? Congratulations. <laughs> the, uh, uh, I'm running in the Olympics. I don't even know what it's called. <laughs> uh, running? I think it's called running. <laughs> uh, yes. I'm being recruited for the uh, U.S. Uh, Olympic team. I didn't know they had running. It's the Winter Olympics. You'll have to be running on snow. Yeah, it's going to be that's, really You'll chilly, have to put yeah. those tennis rackets on your feet. Yeah. I'm, yeah. Uh, oh, right. The little, like, s yeah, I'm doing it. That's what I'm training with, the tennis rackets. What are you doing that's making you look so fit? Are you, are you doing some kind of workout thing? Are you, you playing know, tennis? Or? I, no, I normally do Pilates, and then uh -oh. recently we were traveling a lot, and I didn't have time, so I was just had little six-pound weights that I was Ooh, doing, and nice. I did some sit-ups, mm -hmm. and uh, so oh, I do them oh. like this. Mm, mm. Oh, oh, my clothes oh, are yeah. tight. Oh, my yeah. clothes oh, are so yeah. tight. Some little leg legs. Oh, yeah, you know? my legs, legs, legs. Yeah. Nice. And I do some things for my vaginal area. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Gotta keep those tattoos yeah, looking I like, good. I like when you say it though, you always have it, you always, yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm cooling it off. Yeah. Hey, congratulations <laughs> on the Emmy for the thing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I know, it was pretty it was good. amazing. That's uh, yeah. The program, one of the programs that I appear on on television, uh -huh. called Children's Hospital, won its second Emmy on That's Sunday. That's great. Crazy. Uh, yeah. Yeah. No, wait, you know, I, excuse me, I just have to have a word. I, I pity. Really, it's like pity applause. Look, Nobody has ever heard I know of you, you're not very impressed by Emmys, clearly. <laughs> but two is pretty good, isn't it? Are you, you, didn't you win a bunch of them for Will and Grace? I won two f as an actress on Will and Grace, and then Will and Grace won one. So I guess uh, now there's. Is that five. all you got for Will and Grace? Three? Well, I was nominated other times where I lost. To who? What? Rat? Bastard, no some, talent. Some fat bitch. Really? <laughs> Jeez. I that's no, awful. I, I actually don't really remember because I tend to like block those things out. Now, when you say block them out, do you mean a hideous alcohol problem? <laughs> <laughs> that's blackouts. I'm oh, talking about blocks. Sorry, blockouts no. are different. Um, no, I don't really remember. That is funny. Hmm. Huh. Where were you that you couldn't do I Pilates? I do remember. <gasps> when, oh, oh, God. Yeah. Oh. That was just as exciting for me. Oh, yeah. yeah. I tell you, things went... Yeah. Um, 
I do remember one time I was nominated for a Golden Globe in the same category as Vanessa Redgrave. <laughs> <laughs> guess, that loser. Guess, guess who yeah. won? <laughs> <laughs> That was, I, that year I just was like, well, I guess I'll go. <laughs> yeah, uh, who won? <laughs> Vanessa Redgrave? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, it's a golden globe. I mean, that's kind of like something you get at the, you know, gas station. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Let me explain something to you. That's true. <laughs> Am I lying? They oh, do, no. They do sell them at the gas station. Kind of, a little bit. I mean, you can get them at certain service stations around the country. Redeemable with points. Yes. Not all. It's, you have to, you know, you have to be a member and, you know, it's... This thing. Where were you that you couldn't do Pilates? What godforsaken part of the world doesn't oh have civilization? Oh, my God. We went everywhere. We, we started, started out, we were going to Greece, and then we ended up staying in Europe for two months. It was kind of crazy, and we didn't have any plans, and at one point, Nick had to go back to the States, and so I thought, well, I'll go to Lille, France, because it's very close to Belgium, and I like Belgium, and then I can go into Belgium. Waffles, their waffles are excellent. Great waffles, but I ended Whoa, up in... Whoa, who's this? Who's here? I don't recognize you. <laughs> I, know. I know. Where's Megan? I, Megan, where are you? I don't you? know. I'm like a chameleon. Wow. <laughs> looks like it's a like, golden I'm globe's like... coming your way. It's like the Lon Chaney of, of, of modern-day actresses. Wait, hold on. Oh, I am. Oh, there you are. No, I just apparently uh, people in Lille, France find me irresistibly attractive. Not only in. Uh, really? Yeah, it was really. Why Lille, France, really of all? I don't know, but it was really weird. I just tried to go, because Nick, well, Nick had to go back to the States, so I was by myself, so I thought, well, I'm going to go out to a nice dinner. So I went to this charming little cobblestone street with this little adorable restaurant, and I walked in, and there was only one table. And I kind of shyly indicated table for one, and, and they were like, oh, no, 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 sit with us. <laughs> and so I did. Are we, um, am and, I in the story now? Yeah, well, you can reenact <coughs> it with Come, sit with us. Oh, Welcome to Leon France, France, where I, Dracula, welcome <laughs> to my cafe. Have some blood. <laughs> Did you, and, uh, I don't know. I just spent like a long evening at dinner with these total strangers who were all French and they were all very nice and everybody spoke a little bit of English and I tried to speak French and um, at one point like a very young like 22 year old boy showed me his abs and flirted with me and I just didn't know what was happening. And oh, you, then, <coughs> like, excuse the dentist me. And you knew what was happening. <laughs> Uh, can know, you look at this for but me? I, I don't know really... if they are nice enough. Uh, it, was, it was just, it was really, it was really odd. And um, and then the owner, the proprietor of the proprietor of the restaurant's uh, dentist came in with her mother and sister, <laughs> and um, they they invited me to go to a disco with them. And I said no. And they said, Oh, but you must live your life. You cannot say no to this once in a lifetime. Of course, because Dracula, very <laughs> carefully. Come to the disco. So I went we will to, die. So I went to a disco. <laughs> <laughs> so I went to a disco in Lille, France and danced for 45 minutes and got really sweaty and the dentist dentist sister dirty danced with me for a minute and there was one guy like one like um, creepy, like one like turkey lurkey guy that kept coming up behind, but not very close, just like, not like really like grinding on me, just like three feet away and just like this. I'd be like, is this the guy again? What's happening? Why are you, why are you there? Just tell them I was there. Just it tell them bad. I was there and then they know. <laughs> Megan Mullally, we'll be right back. We'll be right back. Absolutely, the people we are during the commercial breaks. I can tell you that. We're not going to go. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> so, what now then? What are you going to do now? Now you've got all the Emmys that you wanted. I don't know. 
take up some kind of a recreation outside of show business. May I recommend that to you? Yeah, I know. You know, I think the computers like ruined everybody. It is. Computers are terrible. And all that. Yes, internet. I used yeah. to read books, and now I just feel like such an idiot. Now I'm watching Dance Moms. It's like I used. To, <laughs> you know, it's like. It's just, I've just plummeted. No, I know what you mean. I've become much more stupider than I used to be. I, me too. Yeah. I'm just dumb as a brick. <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like crazy. I can't. I, the email, it all drives me crazy. Yeah, no. It's the Twitter. You, you stopped doing it, I'm you? not on. I'm not really on Twitter, but I have a band called Nancy and Beth that's on Twitter, but I don't really do it. Yeah. Are you still doing the Nancy and Beth then? Yeah. You sing not. dirty songs? Yeah, we do. We sing a song called sing a song called Smell Your Croissant. <laughs> it's a rap song. I just wanna smell your <laughs> It's a rap song. It sounds charming. <laughs> Sadly we're out of time. Um, um, or or I would, you know. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. uh, would you uh, awkward pause? Uh, yeah, let's do that. All right, do you want an awkward pause with a pipe? Yes. Okay. Uh, I've got a rack of pipes. Uh, Eddie, the prop man's gone crazy. Oh! <gasps> oh God! Quick, pick oh up the God. Chilean flag! Quick! Oh! My apologies to the people of Chile. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, don't you don't probably don't want this one. I use this a lot. I like uh, this one. All right. Okay. Well, that's good. That's brand new. No one's sucked that. So. Uh, <laughs> So we'll do a, we'll do a, a, a quiet, uh, awkward pause, smoking pipes having just solved a crime, with some music, and then commercial break. This is going to be great. He's a legend not only in the sport of baseball, but in the United States of America. His LA Dodgers currently lead their division. Tommy Lasarda, everybody. <laughs> Sorda, I have to tell you, it is great to see you. Thank you. And I have to tell you, it is even greater to see that the Dodgers are, in fact, playing baseball. We're fighting. We're gone. Is we it... got an outstanding team. And if we're ever going to win it, it's right now. You think? Yeah. All the way? All the way. World Series? Without a doubt. Oh, my Lord. Now... You've been in baseball. You've been in baseball a long time, real long. Right. So, don't you get superstitious? I, I mean, I always think of baseball. I be... was superstitious when I was a pitcher. Sure, everybody. I think every ball player, some way, somehow, has a little bit of superstition in. Do you don't have it anymore? You don't have like special underpants you're wearing all the way to, through the playoffs. No more. I've been through that for years. That's done. Finished. <laughs> No, n nothing at all. It's just like it's all. You're, you're messing it. with my mind here, man. Never. Really? Never. Nothing. Why? Why should I have any superstition? That I, I live, I breathe, I, I'm happy, I love what I'm doing. I'm 64 years with the Dodgers. 64 years? And 60. Good Lord. Good Lord. And, and. And 63 years married. Yeah. Now, here's the thing. Slightly, my slightly wife. more applause for being married for one year less than you were with the Dodgers. My wife called me one time and she said, I love, I, I said, she said, love baseball, 
And uh, she said, I love baseball and the Dodgers more than I love her. I said, yeah, but I love you more than I do football and basketball. <laughs> Seems only fair. Yeah. Seems fair. Yeah. <laughs> There's been a lot of changes down there at the Dodgers. Like, you got the, oh, the, yeah. the big shot in the arm with the money and stuff coming I've in. I've seen right? it all the way through. The yeah. stadium has been re renovated. It's unbelievable. It's all underground. They've done what? a tremendous job there. What do you mean it's all underground? They, dug, that, they dug the dirt out and made the clubhouse down there. Really? And the, oh, yeah. And the medical department and everything. You need a road map to get around there, down there. <laughs> You still get Dodger dogs, though, right? You, see, you don't, you don't, you've not made it fancy. It's not like sushi or anything down there, is there? Not again against sushi. Yeah. Well, they got every kind. They have a cook now. A cook, really? The cooks for the players. Yeah, but that's the players. I, I'm not going to be around any of that. I'm talking about, you know, sitting in the stands, getting a Dodger dog. You can still do that. Oh right? yeah, absolutely, sure. Do you ever do that? Do you ever like sneak up there dressed as someone else? <laughs> not hardly, but it sometimes. I wish I could have because we were getting beat or something. Yeah, I, didn't want, yeah. I didn't want anybody to see me. Yeah, it. Uh, it but uh, talk me through. Who's the, the? It's the young Cuban guy, isn't it? Yeah. That, that's the. That's the. The big hope this yeah. year, isn't he's, it? Yeah. He's been good. The fans have attached to him. He's done a tremendous job. He's exciting. He loves to play, and he's just sparked the ball club. It was amazing, and he, they've done a great job. Do you, uh, the manager, you still, the manager has done a sensational job. Do you still uh, feel like you should, you'd like to get in there and coach the team? Oh, you know? I'd love to any time. Yeah, I'd never miss that. Yeah, but how do they feel about you doing that, though? I mean. <laughs> well, I don't think they'd want me at my age because I think in another week I'll be 86 years old. So. Oh, wow. How about that? That's sensational. That was very impressive, apparently, to the studio audience. Uh, they, they, they like the fact that you've been in baseball 64 and married 63 and that you're 86. You know what? Well, people in baseball love stats, don't they? They like numbers. It's like, I like this is this number, this is that, this is the amount of times I've done this. Are you, like, encyclopedic with your knowledge? Can no, you do all of that? No, no, no. I never could. Only know what I learned, which is not that much. <laughs> Well, I see, this makes it difficult for me because I didn't grow up here. So, I'm, you know, I, if I go to any sports event at all, baseball, football, basketball, anything, if I go with someone uh, who grew up in America, they're all saying, oh, yeah, I remember in 83 when the six-point spread thing. I'm like, <laughs> I got none of this. Well, I remember when we won, and I forgot when we lost. I think the last time was 80, 85 was the World Series for the Dodgers, wasn't it? No, 88. 88? Yes. See, you do have the numbers in your head. 88. Were you coaching the team in 88? Absolutely. Oh, I see. <laughs> I wouldn't have mentioned it if I wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you think this year then, for sure, really? I believe I'd it. love to see it. I'd I love to feel, see it. I could feel it in my bones. <laughs> that we're gonna do. You might the God's here. Come on. All right, you guys ready? Ready. All right, then. one, two, three, four. What did, did we, we learn, learn on the show tonight? And I was going to... Yeah. If you do not pull for the Dodgers, you may not get into heaven. Bye. <laughs>